Hey guys, what's up everyone? Hey everybody, it's me Gilday. It's Elmo! Elmo joining us today. Yep. All right, so here we are on the cruiser. We gotta see what we were doing. Do you remember where we were, Giants? It's mm. been a while. I think we're at the cave, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, I think so. Yeah, stock it safe here. Okay, we could dock here. Y'all want to see another day of this? I think that would be good. If I remember right, we were going for the smaller fish because we hadn't caught up much there. And going for S catches on the rest of them. And we go for the big ones with the S's. Let's go on in here. This is Safe Air Cave. You can only come to this part of the Wee Fisher Resort game once you earn the cruiser. On the cruiser, you can come to Safe Air Cave. But until you get the cruiser, you can't come there. There's no way to get there all from one of the one of the island, well, one of the uh, other sites on the game. They don't have any tours going there here. The only way you get to it is on, let's see what we got tackle-wise. Okay, so we're still going for a big one right now. So we'll keep an eye on there. But if we don't see a big one, we'll go for what we can get to. I think we're trying to get a bigger cola camp, too, if I remember right. I think As you know, Cola Camp has all the different shaped uh, sides to them. That's how you can tell the difference between that and a, uh, oops, well, I didn't see a Cola Camp right now. We'll have to back up here. There we go. Now we'll go. Let's see what we can find. Right there in front of us looks like a big one. See if he pops back up. Sometimes when you stop, they disappear. That's not a big one to the left. See if we can find that big one we've seen. Let's go and pull it in. I don't see it anymore. It'll disappear on us. That happens sometimes. Hopefully today we go on a fishing tournament. We could try to. We'll have to go back to one of the one of the other areas to do so. It's alright. We can do that though. Yeah, the Hector Beach one is like the easiest. You think so? Or is the Team in Paradise one the easiest? Which one is It always one? has some challenges to each one of them. See it? That's a color camp. And you get a lot of points if you just stay out here and catch them all day. Oh, then there's See, so if you go around these two uh, rocks in the water, normally that's where you find a cold can. Swimming somewhere around there or in between the two. They fight pretty hard, but not too bad. They won't break your line like the uh, King of the Heron. King of the Heron can be pretty frustrating sometimes. No, it's basically easy. Oh, really? Yep, you think so? Yeah. I'm going to get one on the hook and hand it to James and see how he does. Yeah. <laughs> what do y'all think, guys? And I'll catch it. I'll catch it, okay. I hope so. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it's a bigger one. We wanted a bigger one. I'm not sure if it is bigger. Let's see. 
No, it's a small one. But that's okay. We didn't have too many of them. That's only the fourth one. Color camp. So yeah, which... So let's look around this rock and see what we see around the rock. Might see a bigger cola camp somewhere around here. Um, yeah. Um, which one, which area was the easiest one? To, to complete or in yeah, tournament? Yeah, to complete 100%. Oh, I, I wouldn't say Pecar, Pecar Beach, maybe. But it was kind of hard in some areas. Uh, to catch the red, uh, what's the name of that fish? There was a black one and a red one of this type of fish, but that was hard to catch because they're very few in quantity. And it was hard to get them. But I would say Pecar Beach, man. No, the easiest one, Kirkle River. Wasn't that many to catch there. Yeah. It was a smaller place for that. That's what I would say. That looked like a big frilled shark. Let's go for it. That's the biggest thrilled shark I believe we caught. Got him on the hook. Hopefully that's a nest. Well, at least tonight. too hard at it and then lose the fish so once it gets to the red normally I let it swim out a little bit you don't want to let it get too lax either and get in the blue then you lose the fish that way right then the green and yellow are good areas to stay let's see what we got nope not this it didn't jump out of the water maybe not uh, not too great, but not too bad either. Ah. That was funny when we got drift away and you yelled out, No! <laughs> and in my mind, you yelled out, Yes! Did you? Yeah. Oh, frilled shark on the left looks bigger. We'll get that pudgy Castile. He came and stole our bait. But it looked pretty big. That's why I went ahead and hooked him up. I seen him. I knew what I was catching. But he looked big enough. We'll go out. What I like about the cave is you can catch a lot of fish in a short period of time and make a lot of points. What I don't like about the cave is once it gets dark, it's hard to find anything. It's hard to see in here. There's no flashlight on the boat, nothing. That looks like a pretty long one. Let's see. Ah, close but no cigar. Yep, I did. 
I did, I did, I did. I just thought I seen one of them. That's a big one too. Can you get Monty's phone to track James and call David? Because he's trying to call in on this one. Ask Monty to call David. See, sometimes when you're going away from and you're looking for something else, you run into what you wanted originally. It's pretty much what just happened. So she's calling David? Yep. Okay. David just called her. Okay. Well, they're talking all the way. Cool. I didn't want to ignore David's call, but I didn't want to inter interrupt our views either. Or our stream. Because then you'll get angry. I know you. Yeah, and then you're yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's a bigger one than we caught before. Let's see what size it is. And when our videos cut off, that always says, well, oh well. And then I always go out. No! We did the best we could. That's all you can ask. Let's do the best you can. Right, guys? Need your support here. Now, back here in the dark part of the cave, there's a whole different type of uh, shark fish. It, we've only caught like once or twice before, so we're going to try to catch him again. Yeah. And then the same part is where you catch the barrel eye. He's a very small fish. In fact, you probably can't use your our regular 222 bait. you got to use a different type to catch him. I'm not sure who we got yet. Let's see. Let's see. He's not fighting hard enough to be a king of the hair, for sure. I'm not sure what it is yet. He and the other big fish are on one of the options here. Yeah. See what we got. Hmm. Jumped out of the water. I'm still not sure. Looked like a real shark to me. No, there's a pudgy still. Oh well. And it's a little one. We didn't need a little pudgy still. That's part of the problem when you catch. Fish right back here. You can't tell what's biting your bait when it first hook, you know, bites it. And sometimes you just have to go for it. I think mom just called your name. Go see what she wants. Tell her what's going on.
so dead. She said she left her medication downstairs. What medication is that? Tell her we'll be, I'll bring it to her in a minute. Right. Okay, let's try a different area, guys, because obviously that was not working. See that frilled shark? Mm -hmm. Can't look that big either. Let's see what else comes up. All right, that's a big one, it feels like. Let's see what we got, guys. After this, I'll show you the trick of catching a barrel eye. It's not king of the herring, I don't look like, but it's fighting pretty hard. So it might be the fish we really want. We were coming after this time. Let's see. another uh that's an s yes we finally got what we wanted there's an s catch chance new record for a cola can well we got three cola cans today <gasps> with an s catch that was a good catch now i promised to show you the secret to catching a barrel eye correct Okay, so we'll go to the dark part right here. Okay, so, float. You gotta go with one of the small ones, not these. Like 111. So you gotta go back to the journey. So now it's, the problem with this is one of the bigger small fish will break a rod. But it's the right size for the girl eye. So you gotta be very careful when you first start catching the fish. You don't wanna let it get too far to the rest. Because the barrel eye is so small, it won't really bite at the other ones. See, this isn't a barrel eye, but that's okay. It's still the same technique. Flapjack, octopus. We didn't really need more of them, but oh well. We'll try again and hopefully we'll catch the barrel eye this time. This is in the right part of the cave with the right tackle. Let me pause this so I can get rid of that phone call. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Who was that? I don't know who it was. I have a lot of phone calls coming in. I don't know who it is. I think my phone number got published on some site somewhere. So people are just calling it all the time. Are they throwing a prank while you are something? Uh oh. I hope that's not driftwood. It's driftwood, guys. It's driftwood. <sighs> and James is not happy. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Their lives are fairly hard to catch, but that's the technique you use. I'm going to go after the other type of shark that I was talking about. Hopefully we can catch that back here. Sometimes it's just good to switch it up when you start getting driftwood. You don't want to go right back at it and be hard at it. Because it'll probably give you another piece of driftwood. So are we going to catch that fish like at another episode or something? We can. A barrel eye? We can catch a barrel eye next time.
I've seen something move around in there. Let's see if it'll come by our hook. Sometimes even if you can't see the fish, you can see something moving. See a movement in the water. We'll give it a few more moments. So patience is the name of the game in this game. You know, sometimes it's hard to be patient, but I know that's a way to catch these fish. So let's go and try a different area. Because obviously it wasn't going to bite for us. It's getting late. So we'll go back in. We got an S Colacanth. That's our main catch today. Oh, guys, guess how you know it just said uh, return to your hotel room? Yeah, we're not at a hotel. We're at the cruiser. So the cruiser is technically our hotel room right now. Here's our S Colacanth. That was the best catch of the day. And the flapjack octopus. Normal driftwood. All right. Not a bad day, 29,759 points. That's what I mean. Even if you don't catch everything you want uh, each day in that cave, you have the opportunity to catch a lot. So we're going to check and see how our aquarium did today. Aquarium profits. It was up a little bit today from yesterday. We had 105 additional visitors. 91,800 points for the income today. They rated our aquarium right over there. Aquarium rating, okay. Entry fee, okay. Okay, mission fee is 200 points. So they Which want to- tank was the worst known. No worst tank. So I mean, it's not like there's any one tank that's running behind the others. We just gotta catch the S fish. The S fish will help with the okay rating. Yay. <laughs> I just got that from the dead tree. No, you, I know where both of y'all got that from. The bad guys. <laughs> um, video games. What, which which one are we going to and to try to catch a tournament? Demon Paradise E. Okay. No, no Doc, it's safe for the cave now. So, we're here and want to go down to Team in Paradise Beach. So, we'll have to turn that way. Okay. This is just like driving. So, we'll get around this end of the island and make a left. I think she's invincible. But the same prank won't work again. Yes. This is where you could meet and meet, have a meeting with Uncle Greg and she, he could give you ideas. No, I would not do that. Yes, it would. You need his ideas. Actually, you don't want to prank Uncle Greg myself. Yeah, right. In your dreams, Jose.
Got to make it around this area, and here we are at Two Moon Paradise Beach. This is where we can get more tackle and everything, have guys. So we'll take the opportunity to get what we need. Have plenty of points, we can buy what we need. It'd be nice if life actually worked on points too. We just fish, catch fish every day and we live. But it don't work like that here in America, unfortunately. Go find out what your mom wants. She's calling me. Okay, okay. I'll go find out. Tell her what's going on, Jazz. I said you get the mindset in a minute. Go tell her what's happening. So we gotta go to the bulletin board, guys, if we're gonna to try to do a fishing contest. See what they have available. They don't even have a fishing contest available at this time, it does not look like. Hey, but we got this. You wanna do this? Sure. Okay, we'll do symbol hunt at the beach normal. Oh, and Dad, um, yes. Mom said she needs Gerald to get her my kitchen downstairs and bring it back to her attic. Okay, tell her as soon as I get through with this, I will be doing that. Okay, so we gotta be looking for the symbols, guys. It's easy to miss them, too. They might be on the boardwalk. It might be on something next to the boardwalk. We gotta be looking everywhere else at all times. On a tree, could be anywhere else like that. Okay, I told you. One thing I almost guarantee you is there's one somewhere around here. I'm not sure which way. But there's some, one somewhere else. Right around here. Okay, so I don't see them see it this way. We're gonna go back towards the boardwalks. Because normally there's like two or three there. We'll try up here. Wake that man up. He was sleeping. Look like it. Maybe not at all, honest. There's none up here. Hmm, that's unusual. I don't see any. So there's got to be one somewhere right over here. Pretty unusual. We normally catch them right as we start. I found one. Where? Uh, right there. Okay. Good job. Yes. There's one. There's two. See none of those, do you? Not yet. I know which challenge David, the Legend of Zelda, turned out. The 
whoever finishes Majora's Mask first wins and gets all the respect and gets to keep the lead. I don't see one on that bench. That's what I was thinking. Probably hit one on a bench or something. They hit one somewhere around here. There's always one somewhere here. But I don't see it. Hmm. Three. See if there's any more up here. Real quick. Don't look like it. They're making this hard. Hey, y'all, they said this was normal. Yeah, they made this one hard. They're going hard on us. Four out of seven. Excuse me, darling. I think I see one right there. Yep, thought I see one. Five. We need two more quickly. You're a bus. Yeah. He's right. Like really fast. See no more, do you? Oh! I think I see one. Is that one? No, nope, I guess not. They hit it good. And how? Got that one. We're going to try it farther in here. Oh, there's one right there. Where? 
was on the side of the rock. I don't see one there. Maybe on the way up. Yeah, I did kind of lucky on this one. Got to catch this one and catch it quick. See where one? one? Look, keep looking. It's got to be somewhere that's right here. Can't be in the lobby, is it? No. <sighs> they hit one in here real good. You never found one on this dock. Let's try this side. I'm feeling it's there. Time's up. Okay. You wanna try it again? Yeah. And then we're gonna end our video today. Right. If they let us try it again, we will. Yes, they will. Okay, so let's read the hint it gives us. You signed up for an activity. There's a mark just as you step onto the beach. You know that's the one we probably missed the last time. So I'm glad we read it. You know what, we can run a bike, can't we? Make it a little bit easier. We can move around a little faster. Cause my guy can ride a bike. See none yet. I'm looking because remember the hint. Just as we step on the beach, 